Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this floating button to your WordPress website. So in the previous videos, we have been designing this using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add this to your WordPress website. So let's get started. The theme that I'm using is called 2021. Now you can use any theme you want and this is how the theme looks right now. So now let's go ahead and add this floating button to our website. So first of all, I'll show you how to add it to a post. So you can go over here to post and uh, you can add it to an existing post if you want. I'll just create a new post and uh, I'll just type floating button. Now to add the button, you have to create a new custom HTML block. So here you can just type forward slash and type custom HTML and just select it. Now here you can add your code. So let's add our HTML, CSS and JavaScript into this block. So first of all, I'll just create a style tag and I'll just add the CSS over here. So let's go to our source code and I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So let's copy this CSS and let's paste it over here. And by the way, for running this WordPress website locally, I'm using this uh, application called local by flywheel so just download it and create a new site by clicking on this plus icon and then go ahead and enter some details and uh, it will create a wordpress website for you so let's go back and uh, now let's go ahead and add the html so let's go outside the style tag and let's go back to our source code and let's go to the html file and let's copy this html inside the body and let's paste it over here and lastly we need to add the javascript so let's create a script tag and uh, let's go back and let's go to the main.js file and let's copy this javascript and let's paste it over here right now let's go ahead and publish this now you can go ahead and add other blocks if you want over here so you can add any of these blocks over here and this is one of the blocks of the whole content of the website right now let's go ahead and click on publish and uh, publish and now let's click on view post and this is how our button looks. So let's see whether it works. So let's click on this plus icon. And here we have these options displayed. So the button is working all right. Now this floating button is only available for this post right here. So if you go to the main home page, here we don't have the button. So now let's see how to add the button to the whole website. So the floating button should be displayed no matter which page we are on. So further, let's go back and uh, I'll just delete this post for now. So let's click on trash. Right now to add this button to the entire website, we need to add the HTML, CSS and JavaScript code to the theme, but that can be a little risky if you're not an advanced user. So in that case, you can go ahead and install a plugin. So let's go over here to plugins and click on add new. And let's search for a plugin called custom CSS. So here we can see we have this plugin called simple custom CSS and JS and it is by silkypress.com and we can see that it is popular so let's go ahead and click on install now and now let's click on activate and now we can see that the plugin has been activated and here we have this new menu called custom css and js now let's go ahead and add the custom css html and javascript over here so let's go over here to add custom css and here for the title i'll just type floating button css and let's go back over here and let's go to the style.css file and let's copy this CSS from here and let's paste it over here. And uh, I'll just leave all of these as it is and uh, let's click on publish. Right now let's add the HTML. So let's go over here to add custom HTML and here let's tap floating button HTML. And let's go back to our source code and let's go to the HTML file and let's copy this HTML from here and let's paste it over here. And now here for the HTML, I'll just add it inside the body tag. So let's click on this option after body tag. And uh, now let's click on publish. And the last thing we need to add is the JavaScript. So let's click on add custom JS. And here let's tap floating button JS. And uh, let's go back to the main.js file. And let's copy this JavaScript from here. And let's paste it over here. And now here you have to make sure that you are adding this JavaScript inside the footer. So let's click on footer and let's click on publish. Right now let's go ahead and see whether the floating button is displayed in our website. So if you go to all custom code, we have all the code over here. So let's go to our website and let's reload this page. 
And now we can see that the floating button is displayed over here and if I click on it, we have the options displayed. Now these options are basically links. So if you go back to the HTML file, here we can see that we have these links. So you can add the link of your pages over here. You can also change this content to whatever you want. And then here we can see we have the icon that is displayed over here. So you can change these to whatever you want. And let's go ahead and open a different post. So let's click on hello world. And here we can see in this post also we have this floating button. So it is working all right. So that's basically how you can add a custom floating button to your WordPress website. Right, so that's basically it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.